In this video, I will be sharing with you some information on how to treat adenoid cystic carcinoma. If you need information on the meaning of adenoid cystic carcinoma, the causes of adenoid cystic carcinoma, or the symptoms of adenoid cystic carcinoma, please check out the videos in our channel. Adenoid cystic carcinoma is a rare kind of cancer that usually starts in the glands that make saliva. These are under your tongue and on each side of your jaw below the jawbone. But it also can occur in other parts of your mouth and throat or other areas of your body, such as your sweat glands or tear glands. The diagnosis is made by histologic analysis of a biopsy or resection specimen of a tumor mass. There are three major variant histologic growth patterns of adenoid cystic carcinoma, crateriform, tubular and solid. The solid pattern is associated with a more aggressive disease course. There are no serum markers for this neoplasm. Recurrences are usually identified by radiographic imaging techniques, such as computed tomography. Primary treatment for this cancer, regardless of body site, is surgical removal with clean margins. This surgery can prove challenging in the head and neck region due to this tumor's tendency to spread along nerve tracts. Adjuvant or palliative radiotherapy is commonly given following surgery. For advanced major and minor salivary gland tumors that are inoperable, recurrent, or exhibit gross residual disease after surgery, fast neutron therapy is widely regarded as the most effective form of treatment. Chemotherapy is used for metastatic disease. Chemotherapy is considered on a case-by-case -case basis, as there is limited trial data on the positive effects of chemotherapy. Clinical studies are ongoing, however. Surgical resection, whenever possible, is the mainstay therapy. Based on clinical experience, many centers advocate postoperative radiotherapy to help limit local failure. A few specialized centers offer neutron beam therapy which may be more effective than conventional radiation therapy. There appears to be no effective chemotherapy for metastatic and or unresectable adenoid cystic carcinoma although some patients may receive palliation. Investigational therapy. Several clinical trials are examining the effects of relatively new chemotherapeutic drugs, such as paclitaxel and gemcitabine, alone, or in combination with other drugs, in the control of metastatic or locally recurrent adenoid cystic carcinoma. Recurrence is defined as a return of cancer after treatment, and after a period of time during which the cancer cannot be detected. Even after achieving clean margins with no recurrence at the primary site of tumor, adenoid cystic carcinoma has a high likelihood of metastasizing to other areas of the body over a period of years. This long-term recurrence and spread of the disease to other areas of the body is the major cause of death from adenoid cystic carcinoma rather than initial tumor treatment failure, though recurrence in original tumor area does happen. Metastasis occurs when cancer cells have broken loose at the primary site and move to other regions of the body through the bloodstream. These new tumors that show up elsewhere in the body are commonly called METs. The most common site of metastatic spread of adenoid cystic carcinoma is to lungs, then liver, then bone. It is predicted by some medical papers that anywhere from 30% to 60% of all adenoid cystic carcinoma patients will have recurrence somewhere in their body at some point, and some researchers have stated that this figure could be much higher if it were possible to track a larger number of patients over a longer period of time. This common characteristic of adenoid cystic carcinoma is the reason that it is highly recommended by knowledgeable physicians for adenoid cystic carcinoma patients to have regular, annual X-ray or CT scans done on the lungs, and in some cases CT and MRI scans for other areas as well. After your treatment, you'll need regular checkups to look for signs of new tumors. This can involve X-rays, Connecticut scans, or MRIs, depending on your diagnosis. For more information on this type of cancer, and all other cancer types, please visit www.ecancertips.com. Thanks for watching.